Hey everybody, uh, Ben Yingling with Crawford Yingling Insurance. I'm sitting here at Mudget Auto Body located in Finksburg, Maryland, a longtime family owned body shop. I'm here with the next generation of owners, Tom Mudget uh, Jr. and then Justin Mudget. Guys, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you. So, uh, the Mudget family has been very supportive of the Young Benefactor Giving Circle with the Boys and Girls Club, so we appreciate that. But, uh, you know, Tell us a little about the business and the history of it, since you're the next generation. Uh, well, our father, Tom Mudgett Sr., started the business um, while I was still in high school in South Carroll, 1980. And then um, it kind of went from there, uh, 1980 to 1988. He was at the corner 32 and 91, right down the street in Gamber. Uh, from 88 to 2001, we're at the end of DD Road. We had a facility about half the size of this. In 1996, uh, he purchased this corner, and we built the state-of-the-art facility, which opened in 2001. Uh, we currently fix about 1,800 cars a year, which makes us um, one of the biggest um, you know, producing facilities in the country. Awesome. So, uh, Tom, Tom Jr., you're kind of the, uh, I know you're the hands-on guy, much like your dad. You know, how did yep. you kind of get involved in the business? Tell us about that. Um, honestly, I didn't really uh, want to work here when I first started because I wanted to go out and do my own thing and make my own career. And then later down the road, about a year into that, I started talking to my dad and I kind of wanted to fill in his shoes and take over the business. And uh, I've been here for since January of 2011 and I've done pretty much everything here so far. Uh, it all has its ups and downs. It's, uh, you know, it all can be tough at times, but uh, for the most part. I enjoy what I do, and uh, I've been here for going on 11 years. Fantastic. Amazing. So, you know, we talked about the Westminster Boys and Girls Club. You all were part of the Young Benefactor Giving Circle. What, uh, tell, you know, what was it that kind of drove you guys to give to the Boys and Girls Club? Well, anytime you can get involved with the community, that's something we pride ourselves on. Uh, we do a lot of things in the community. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is a large portion of what we do. Uh, we believe in helping kids provide better uh, educational opportunities, athletic opportunities, social opportunities, uh, just being a part of something. So being a part of the Boys and Girls Club is huge for many kids. Uh, it allows them to more or less feel wanted in the community, and not everybody has that same opportunity through a family. So the Boys and Girls Club is part of our family, and we're helping uh, grow the family community together. Other things we do, um, we're involved at the Tech Center, the community college, we're involved in giving cars away to veterans. We're involved in coaching youth and uh, high school sports in the area. Uh, we donate to all the high schools. We have scholarships, tool scholarships. Um, you know, we believe in taking care of our community and that your community will take care of you. We've been in business since 1980, as I mentioned, 40 years. So uh, every car we fix, you know, we might see you at dinner and we want that to be a pleasant experience. So we fix every car like it's our own car because we know that we're going to see that car in our community and we pride ourselves on that. Fantastic. Yeah, and a big part of the community they are, and they have been for a long time. So let's pivot a little bit personally. You know, uh, tell us about yourself personally. Tom Jr., you're uh, you're engaged, so tell us about your fiance. Um, I was supposed to get married in May, and with everything that's happened, you know, uh, we had to push it back a little bit, but September 19th, uh, give a shout out to my fiance, Heather Snyder, soon to be Heather Mudgett. Uh, so it's it's happening, and um, I'm excited about it. And it's been a lot of long road, kind of up and down. You know, you prepare yourself for it, and then it doesn't happen. So, uh, but we're we're about 40 days out now, so getting close Nobody's to that 30 day mark. Right. Well, congratulations to you both. And Thank then, you. Uh, you know, Justin, I know you just bought a farm in Northern Carroll County, and then you uh, you run a semi-professional football team. Yeah. Why don't we talk about that? Uh, I do a lot of things. Um, I travel the country with um, my professional flag football team. Um, it's run just like a, like a college or a pro team would. Um, there's players, and uh, we travel the country, and we play in the professional level. Um, we play in NFL stadiums. We played at Panther Stadium. We played at Chicago Bears Stadium. We played at M&T Bank, Dallas Stadium. Um, you know, who would have thought there is professional flag football? And with what's going on now well, in the community, in the environment, uh, healthcare-wise, uh, flag football is huge because it's less contact than traditional football. Mm -hmm. um, now, as far as the farm is considered, uh, if I had a little bit more time, maybe another year, uh, my brother would be getting married at uh, my house because it's a farm, and uh, it's going to be a, a venue, a wedding venue, corporate retreat venue, um, anything you want 
type venue. Um, it's basically going to be a nice place for people in the community to come and have a good time. Fantastic. Well, listen, I really appreciate you all taking the time to talk yes, to me. Sir. Thank you for your commitment to the Boys and Girls Club. And overall, just thank you very much for your commitment to Carroll County and, and the community. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. Yep, no problem. Thank you.